All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is that Wednesday. We are playing them Earthbounds. Hopefully, everything will go okay. Because, uh, yeah, we kind of needed to. We didn't get any Earthbounds, but still. Uh, tweaked the deck a little bit. We did, we threw in the chicken game. Like, I was thinking maybe we could go out now. We threw in the chicken game to terraform me and the domain. Like, we're going to get our fill spell. We're not going to fucking just sit in there and pull out down and be like, ah, oh, can't do anything. So, of course, the people, you know. Uh, I, I'm just not sure if I should feel, I, I, I don't host, I host, people host, I join, you know, I don't host, but I guess if I would host, I guess I would state, you know, hosting, playing meta, I guess, you know, because it is Monarch, so, but then it's not, but then it is, so, mm -hmm, you know, <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and just, you know, do that idea to that Edos and then summon the Rebris, should probably, probably March to, you know, that's, that's all fine and dandy as well. So, uh, you're probably looking tired, like, what's up with that? Alright, well, yeah. <laughs> um, pretty much, I want to talk about school, you know, yeah. It's not, it's been a while, I'm not in college. I'm in college, but I'm not in college, college. You're, you're probably like, what the fuck does that even mean, Daniel? Uh, what it means is that, uh, yes, I am in college, but it's only online. It's not like, you know, I'm totally, you know, engaged with, uh, in classroom and all that, like, no. Uh, kind of want to just want to bounce your monster. Just put that away from me. You, you know what I mean? Just shuffle it back. Yeah, it's monarch, so I mean, I, I, I don't want it to be too monarchy, but hey, sometimes, I mean, this hand, I just straight up, it was just like, hey, you get the monarch, it's like, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what I want to do with Pan Deity, though. Like, I can get Pan, I can banish Pan Deity, and then what can I reveal? I, can reveal, I guess I can reveal another Pan Deity. Yeah, let's see, another Pan Deity. I wouldn't mind getting my original Monarch either. And, uh, Monarch Stone Force? I really don't have anything to tribute. Another Fill Spell wouldn't be terrible. I already have that, so. Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and reveal two Pandities and Prime. And you can be like, here, have the Prime. Like, cool. You yeah. know? Prime, Prime is some power. And you can go ahead and start recycling my spells. Yeah. Okay. Good. I definitely know the card. I was playing Prime at three, and then I, 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 I was like, "Oh, Prime is so good." But then I started to notice it gets kind of cloggy, you know. It's like, it's like, yeah, you want Prime in the field and uh, in the field, but you mostly want in the grave. Once it's in the grave, you're kind of good. If it's on the field, it's just a bonus, you know. So I don't have two Monarch spells and traps right now, so I guess I'm not really doing much. So I guess I'm done for now. I'd rather just hold on to this in my hand. And like I said, there's not two. We gotta find the right ratio, you know, the field spell to. Tributing monster to tribute tollable monster ratio. You know, I gotta, gotta find that ratio. So, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> you turn one. How much you control? Special something in card from your hand. Okay. Control something removed from play. So I guess you're just gonna summon and then return? No, no. Sopens? Not plant? That was the polynosis, right? The counter trap? Yeah. Should but get the first trap or normal summon to such a monster be strong. Oh, damn, this nigga straight, straight, straight up trying to fuck me up. Straight up. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess I can go ahead. I guess yeah, just do a reaper. So reapers will go ahead and summon me back. Idea, and then idea will summon me back, and uh, then I can just tribute for another reaper. So I have two fucking reapers. I mean, let's go. And then I'll just send some more, and then I actually have some shit to put back with Prime. So. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. So, <laughs> got into an idea. Yes. I mean, I guess. Yeah. I guess I want to keep my myth race. I'm still trying to figure out the myth ratio. All that. All that. But uh, what I mean by double English, you're probably wondering. All oh, right, I can summon with one tribute. I keep on forgetting I can do that. Like with my freaking field spell. Like I, that's probably one of the big things that I forget often. Squire can go ahead and give me one of my move for play, and then I can go ahead and dump some. So give me that that back. Go ahead and dump some more. See, it's like I I got I, oh yeah, I guess I can dump another freaking pin deity, and I guess a monarch storm forth. Like then I'm really not worried about you. So I guess I'll just go ahead and pick a random card out of your hand and shuffle it back because I can just run you over. Like you're not a threat. <laughs> you're not a threat at all. And I can go ahead and play this. Hopefully get to an Earthbound. Like, straight up, my opponent's sitting here, sitting here thinking, like, you're just playing fucking, uh, uh, Monarchs, aren't you? And I'm like, no. 
No, I don't want to be playing just fucking monarchs, but I'm not getting enemy earthbounds. And you're wondering, like, oh, well, what's the ratio? I'm actually trying to number generate some of them. Just uh, they're at one, I draw one, and then I can go ahead and do my plays. Just show it off, all right? No, I mean, I ain't drawing. This is just straight up monarchs. I mean, I don't mind playing some meta, like, but uh, if this is the day, this is the time. This is the time. This is time. For, this is earthbound immortal time. Not fucking, oh, look at me. I can play monarchs like everybody else time. Like, shit. <laughs> so, like I said, if I was hosting, I'd straight up say meta, even though it's part Earthbound, but there's just so much Monarch influence. There really is. I'm a, I definitely have to, I definitely have to agree on that one. There is some Monarch influence on this. Oh, I mean, some meta influence on this one. Way too much Monarch influence for me to not state. Like, yeah, there's definitely some Monarchs here. So I guess he's just giving up. He's just gonna crash into me. Could hit the surrender button, but I guess he just wants to go out like a man. All right. Oh, let me get another dueling. Be right back. All right, let's try this again. Uh, I would say, yeah, I think you're running scissors again. I kind of want to go second with this deck. Like, this deck is more second deck. Wow. Oh, I got the field spell. I got trippy tees. I just need the tribute monster. Like, I hope it's not a rebrace and we can actually, you know, get the ball rolling with some Earthbound Immortals. Like, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, I totally don't mind Monarch Storm forcing, tributing your shit, tributing my shit. Yeah. The only other field spell I was thinking about running is Mound of the Bound, which will protect the, 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 um, the the or time tomorrow, so all I have to do is like make a castell or something. And that filter goes, I'm pretty much dead too. Got that one tour guy, so but I got the one rotor, so yeah. And burning abyss. The, one of the definite banes of my existence, really? Oh no, never mind. It's fucking Phantom Knights too? Like oh my god, like Phantom Knight Burning Abyss or whatever. I guess it's just Phantom Knights. I don't think I mean I guess you're running Skarm with it, but I guess I don't know how many targets for tour guy you're running. We already know this. this that's some power. <laughs> wow! And you summoned an attack mode like that. Like, you're so lucky. I don't have any tribute tribute monsters. Like, I don't got anything. Like, we run number generated Earth Vandermals. We run three Reapers. Like, if we had a Monarch, man, we'd be going to town. Like, <sighs> this fucking sucks. <laughs> this fucking sucks. And why is Mithra's stats all fucked up on that card art? Look, 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 look at this. Uh, damn it. Look at this. 2,500? 22? I kind of wish. Level 2 monster, 2,500 attack, 2,200 defense. Let's go! No. <laughs> but, uh, seriously. Like, I don't even know where you get these stats from. I don't know whose stats this is supposed to be. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't open up well. I, once again, I got the filth spell, I got the tribute teams. Where are my tribute summon monsters? I'm trying, I'm even trying to number generate the monarchs. Like, alright, he's just gonna scoop. I guess he's like, fuck, he's taking too long. Like, I was, I was about to just end my turn, you're about to go in on my ass, because I got nothing. So, we're right back again. All right, let's try this again. Anyway, what I mean by double English is pretty much I double English. Oh, is this monarchs? If it's monarchs, I don't want to do a mirror match. Like I could, no, no, it's cancer. All right, it's cancer. Ooh, I mean, does anybody want to sit here and watch this again? I guess I can get some talking. Let's see if he actually pulls it off. The majority of the time when I see this deck, they don't pull it off. So, I mean, I got the the, the march and I got this with with this to summon this. So that's not bad. It's just you know. Are you just gonna sit here and watch some cancer? Mmm. Mmm. Cancer. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Royal Magical Library Cancer. Still fucking. Like, this deck wouldn't be shit if it wasn't for fucking. Like, the Monarch Panditi needs to get hit. It's too fucking. It's too strong. It's too strong. And go ahead and, like, OCG did so well in handling the majority of these situations that I wish we just copy paste. Wish we get our ban list anytime soon. Like, it's getting to the point where I don't give a shit if the ban list is great or not. I just want it. Like, holy fuck. But, uh. Yeah, cancer. Right here. <laughs> anyway. I was already in one English class. I'm retaking English 102 because I got a C in it and I'm gonna get my grade up, get my GPA higher. That's pretty much it. So I was like, screw it. Uh, I'm actually in the in between states where I can kind of fuck around. So, like I said, I, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Like, you can actually you can actually play Tenacity. I really can't play Tenacity. <laughs> That's when you would be dead as fuck for me. No, just, mmm. Cancer. Like, I didn't, I didn't. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Didn't want to duel you anyway. Just, you know, just, just, you know, I was like, you hey guys, my problem is like, hey, you want, you want to just sit here and watch me jack off in your face, and I'm just like, splooge all over me, baby. Like, just go. <laughs> like, just splooge up and just play with yourself. Just, just do it. Just go to town on your ass. Nah, 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 nah. Just let you play with yourself.
Mm. I mean, I mean, I mean, we got. You can just go ahead and you want to run. You got porn for that, though. <laughs> All right, you, know, you, know, you don't have to fucking splooge all over my face. Like, get your self satisfaction. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I would, I would, th I was thinking about it. I attempted to make this deck, and then like literally, in like the middle of making the deck, I just like, no, this is stupid. Like, I don't even know. Like, to the point where the deck is so fucking just, ugh, that not even Dirty Dan wants to play. And you guys know, that's my alter ego. Dirty Dan. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go down and fucking tournament and win. Like, to the point where I didn't even want to fucking do that shit. That's when you know. It's it's just, no. Absolutely no. You know? It's just like, oh, nah. no, nah, I'm not about that life. Are you actually playing this card? Like, are you actually gonna tribute summon? I, I, I've never seen this deck tribute summon in my life. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep. Yeah, and put it in destruction. Guess I'll pitch you, and I, I need the rest of this. I really do. Can I summon back? If, except for Agos, of course it is. Uh, like I said, I want, I want, yeah, these two. I thought he's probably like, you're just playing Monarch. Like, no, I'm trying to do something fun and unique, but I guess we'll just sit here. Uh,. The class is tedious as all hell, but you know what, at least it's not as bad as the first time I took it. The first time I took it, like, like it's not even nearly as bad. Like, I think the biggest essay I had to write for the current class I'm in is, like, I think, six pages. While my first time I took it, it was, like, the big essay was, like, 11 pages. So, well, I shit, you know? Much easier, much easier. But, uh, yeah, retaking that. The class is tedious. We have work, like, every week. Like, even in spring, like, we, we have work, like, every fucking week. But, uh, it's still chill. It's still chill, you know. I still have an A in the class, and hopefully I return that A through the rest of the semester. We're almost done. We're halfway done. And with being halfway done, uh, the other class that I was taking is this Praxis Preparation course. It's, like, preparing me to, uh, wow. And you didn't even, you didn't even get it? Like, nigga. Suck there. Like, nigga. Like, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, wow. Like I said, I guess it really doesn't matter, because he's still gonna fucking just do plays like it doesn't matter but still i guess i mean at least i get a turn right at least i get a fucking turn shit so yeah he's, he's, he's gonna draw a fucking shit ton like oh yeah that's terrible that's terrible I'm, I'm disappointed that in you i really am i'm disappointed that you didn't game me to the point where I, you know what you know fuck it i don't even want to give you the satisfaction at, at first i was like all right you're gonna go ahead and get it but then you fucked up you didn't get it it's just like ugh, you know and it's, it's just we're like no, I get me and Forever I think we're talking about like this deck wouldn't even do anything if it, it's it's life equalizer. You ban life equalizer, no one plays life equalizer. Like at least some decks. I mean, it's a dirty fucking card. It's fucking stupid. Now, especially in the game state we are with pendulum monsters, counting and spells and shit. Or magic Climber is stupid, but it's not terrible. You know, knights you want to play it. Metal Cluster, sure. All right, whatever. Have fun. But when you when you start getting to shenanigans like this and. You know, run magic life, but it's a life equalizer, like, oh, what? Get our life points to such a huge gap, like, life equalizer is pretty much in the same goddamn boat as self-destruct button. It really is. It's just like, why are you playing it? Just to be dirty. Like, hey, we have a big, huge gap of 8,000, so let's go ahead and make our life points even, and I'm gonna kill you. Like, alright, alright, cool, cool story, bro. So, like I said, there's a couple of cards that you could point fingers at. Like, you point forget chicken game, because if you hit chicken game, if you don't have multiple chicken games, you ain't doing shit with this deck. But you need the multiple chicken games. You need the much chicken game, plus the upstart, like, you need all of that. You can hit Royal Magical Library, you can probably limit that down to one. You can ban freaking uh, Life Equalizer, like, there's a ton of things, but still, just mm, cancer. Ah, ah, just, ah. Uh. <laughs> just waiting for that ban list, and then hopefully I'll never have to see this cancer fast shit ever again. Alright, you know, do it. Alright. Sorry I had to bore you guys with that, but I was, I was, I was, I just was really curious if he was gonna be able to pull it off. This isn't hand isn't great either. Not a single freaking monarch. I mean, it's okay. Ah, 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 sorry. Uh, that's the anxiety. The anxiety of the broken ass pendulum mechanic setting in. Like, every, and I, I think every single time I see a pendulum based deck, I just die a little bit on the inside. It's just like, oh, pendulum, this is so broken! <laughs> <laughs> Like who the fuck came up with this? Like what 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 was that good shit? You must have been smoking that good shit when you're just like, hmm, yep, 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 definitely go ahead and fucking uh create a deck like this. <laughs> like, alright, so you can bounce back pretty much anything that I do, which I guess is fine, like, mm. I think I just want to pitch you actually, because I can go ahead and bust you out, so there might be a, a chance that I go ahead and get my uh goodness. 
yeah, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and reveal three, um, go ahead and reveal three, god damn it, what am, what am I thinking? I mean, he could still bounce me, which is fine, but then I could just go ahead and be like, alright, well, I'm still okay. Uh, reveal three, uh, March. So, March, March, and March, and then you can go ahead and give me March, because I want March. I can go ahead and terraforming search for my domain, and then I wrote a search for my idea, summon idea, and even if you bounce me, I'll still summon, then I can just drop you down to six and summon you instead, instead of going for my earthbound model. I guess I'm, all, I'm totally fine, you know? I am totally good. So we'll go ahead and get that domain, and it's just monarchs, just monarchs being monarchs, I mean, you know, it just, it just happens to make Earthbound much stronger, and I guess that's why you guys, you guys' uh, curiosity was so piqued, you're like, oh yeah, we definitely want to go ahead and see what this is going to come to, but yeah, just using the new Monarch cards to do Earthbound plays, while there's still some Monarch plays, there's still not Earthbound plays, so. So you can go ahead and bounce me, but I'm still going to get my effect, and that's all that matters, because I'm assuming you're like, oh shit, stop. Now let's see, I, I, if he lets me get this three, I would love to go ahead and summon my Earthbound Immortal, and you're going to bounce me? Sure, but I'm still gonna resolve my summon, so you know, that's 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 fine. You can have that anyway I'm not at. So I already have another one of you. I kinda wanna keep you in the deck, but uh, can't you only summon you? No, because you can summon the the Mithras too. No, no. Because you know, I get an additional summon, which is totally fine. And can I like activate, reveal, drop your level, and then you become six, which means that you're one tribute now, which is totally fine. So, <laughs> you thought you were gonna fuck me up, but you didn't. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and send, uh, of course, original OG Monarch, and uh, I guess I can go ahead and send a Pandiety for next turn. Uh, yep, that's fine. Uh, pen card in the hand or a field? I kind of want to get the field. Yeah, she's card in the field. Put that back for me. Alright, that's pretty good. It's not bad, it's not bad. And even if shit hit the fan, I still got plays. So, the Praxis Preparation Course, probably one of the hellest Praxis if you haven't talked about it, if I haven't talked about it already. Uh, the teaching test. The big teaching test. Uh, yes, I gotta take a test to become a teacher. I really do. And, uh, with that, you're starting to break on your summoning control. I'll be destroyed. Oh, okay. Uh, this big teacher test. That's expensive. Uh, it's $130. And it's uh, math, reading, and English. And for every part you fail, like let's say that I pay $130, take all three tests. Uh, let's say I pass math and reading, but I fail English. I have to pay 90 fucking dollars to retake just English. Like, it's, it's just, ah, uh, you know? So, with that, I'm taking these classes, which I've only played, like, I guess I, you know, I didn't pay anything at financial aid. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and take these practice preparation courses and get ready to pass this test. Math, I got it. But reading English were kind of iffy. So these courses, they were both online and two ha and half of the semester each. So the first half semester, I had reading, which after course, uh, I think I feel more confident. I really do. I feel more confident that I will pass. I'm not saying that I'll do perfect, but I'll pass. And that's all I need to do. It's pass or fail. So now I'm in the English portion, so I pretty much I have two Englishes. And unlike the the reading where uh, it, it, pro it wasn't that bad, it was like, you know, like, really? You're going to play that other, pe other pendulum scale? Like, oh, well... Of course, you got broken ass wavering eyes. I should definitely be hit down to one. But uh, you know, when you can go ahead and just play wavering eyes, crack your scale, and fucking get any pendulum based monster. Like, if they don't hit wavering eyes, like I swear to fucking god, there's just so many things that need to be adjusted in this list. And we're just sitting here waiting for fucking Konami to do something. Like, <laughs> holy shit, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, I would love like any time you want to go ahead and give me that damn list. I would just love it. <laughs> but uh. I'm pretty much taking two English courses. So this teacher is like blown out of the water. Like first week, it was silent. It was like nothing. Like, okay, like no introduction, no nothing, no assignments, no nothing. As if I wasn't even in the class yet. Then second week, which is the week I'm now. Fucking like five assignments on top of my other uh, classes uh, that has two assignments. And it's just a ton, a butt ton of work. Now some of the work is like super easy. Like, I, I, I'm not sure how far this thing is going to go, but literally like one of the assignments is like, you know, read this sentence. Is this a noun? Is this a verb? Is this an adjective? Like, oh shit! <laughs> you know, this... <coughs> let's go. But uh, uh, outside of that, you know, this, you know, and then she wants to take a practice test, and just a lot of work. Like it really is it's a lot of work for the first week. On top of my other English work, which is doubling up, just preparing for my 
uh, in my final essay in that class, it's just, oh, it's just like, holy shit. <laughs> ah, that powerful twin twister dough. That twin twister a dough. So, uh, like I said, I could go ahead and do Pandeity and Reveal, but there's not really anything that I want right now, so I'm gonna hold off, and I'm just gonna drop my Earth Bound Immortal. Like, fuck it, like, I'm gonna show that this isn't just Monarchs, this is motherfucking Earth Bound Immortal, nigga! Like, what you know about that? Nothing. <laughs> so, I guess I'll go ahead and summon Idea, because, you know, when Idea sent her, I can go ahead and get that, uh, Pandeity back, so it's pretty good. So I'll go ahead and summon Mithra. Oh, I don't get an additional summon. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's why I do Edos instead of Mithra. Oops. <laughs> uh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I was like, ah, like, oh, uh, yeah, I get the additional summon. No, that's why you run three Edos, stupid, because Mithra doesn't do that. She just says, hey, hey, if you tribute me, you get an additional summon. But she's like, hey, not when I'm summoning, you get an additional tribute. Like, oops. <laughs> oops, that was my B. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was totally my fault, like. What did he search for Joker? I don't even see what he searched for Joker. He got... He got Adas, I guess? Yes, can you... Can you get Adas? Something you get for uh, Alright, I guess he got Adas, and then Adas got Insight. That's fine. I have Twin Twister, so... I can crack his Tempting Scales. That's fine. It's just, I fucked up. Fucked up! So, definitely run three Edos. Like, Edos is like the prime of this deck. Like, oh, let's go. And this one... Eh? Yeah. Now if I went like Mithra, summon this, give you a token, Monarch Storm Force, tribute the token I just gave you, and then Mithra for Earthbound, sure, but Mithra with, with I, idea, that was dumb. That really was. That was. I didn't think about it until I was like, wait, why can't I tribute summon? Like, you already normal summon, you don't get an additional one. Unless you play like double summon, like stupid ass Daniel. Like, oh, got it. Got it, I fucked up. Ah, uh, my B, my B. So I got that Twin Twister, which is great, so I can go ahead and just, you know, Twin Twister to pop his Pendulum Scales, just uh. Never mind, never mind. No, I can't. He has broken ass Pendulum Call. Another card that should be hit. Like, there's just so many fucking cards that should be hit. Like, holy fucking balls, there's so many cards that should be hit. Like, I swear to God, we need that list. We need it. We need it now. We need it now, Konami. This, de um, this game, I'm dying of fucking cancer because fucking this game is just so fucking just stale and cancerous and it's just so many fucking dirty cards. Like, oh my god. So, that's great. So, I can go ahead and play some new skills. I have Twin Twister. I can't do shit. That means you can pitch and pop my shit. Like, that, that's great. Yep. So, Pulse. You yeah, gotta pop one of my monsters? Like, that's fine. She's not doing shit. Like, she's literally not doing shit. <laughs> like, that was a total accident why Mithra is on the field. So, if you want to go ahead and pop her by pitching, more power to you. You're gonna go ahead and pitch that. Pop this. I mean, yeah. There's literally nothing I can do with Twin Twister. I get to entwist her and pitch to pay the cost and pop that, but that ain't doing shit. Actually, you know what? That would've been better. I should've done that. I should've done that just for cost, just to get Eidos in the graveyard. That way I could've went Eidos, revive back Idea when Idea dies, and then do that play. No, because I had a fucking Eidos system. He's gonna surrender anyway, so. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you can't summon from the extra deck, so. <laughs> it's just straight up. Like, I was thinking, I was like, well, you can leave Pendulum, so I'm like, no, we can't. Like, you, you cannot summon someone from the extra deck. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> Alright, we'll get one more duel. Be right back. So, uh, on top of just the usual thing for YouTube, just, you know, I'm not, I've been trying, I'm, I, I can't say that I'm not a procrastinator, but I've been trying not to procrastinate. I'm just trying to, you know, do my work and put in the effort to, uh, do my assignments. This hand's not the greatest hand. Like I said, I could play Chicken Game and draw a card, but I think it might be best just to get a little bit deeper in my deck, despite my opponent being able to play Chicken Game as well. He might think I'm trying to sack the shit out of him, but I just didn't open up that hot, like, so. I said this card's kind of cloggy, so I can go ahead and summon this, summon this. I could, I could go ahead and bust out something right now. Cause I can go ahead and special summon Mithra, give you a token, normal summon you, tribute you to offer a Rebris. Yeah, I think I might do that. I think I might do that, so. I'll summon you, give you a token, normal summon you, give me an additional tribute summon. So, like, definitely Eidos is. Eidos, like. Eidos is the man. I could bust out my uh, mortal, but it's just not the right time right now. Recording. Go ahead and summon that. Thunder Vassal, where I get like additional tribute summon? Like, nah, I don't need that. I'm good. And then you, I guess I'll then use you to send some fucking Monarch Spells and Traps. Like, that'd be good. So I can go ahead and send that uh, Pandeity, and I can go ahead and send that, uh, that OG Monarch, I guess. 
Then I guess I'll pick a random card out of your hand, because I fucking can. Then I'll go ahead and do Pandiety. I'm going to reveal three domains to you. No, I, that's pretty much it, because I don't want to leave chicken game there. So That's pretty much the legitness. <laughs> like, which one? I just want to say, I just don't want to leave chicken game there. Because, you know, March would have been pretty good too, but straight up, just, no. I don't want you to get my chicken game. <laughs> Then do I have do I even have two? I only have one. And I really don't want to put that back, so. Guess I'm done for now. It's not the greatest of opening plays, and he could definitely get out of this situation. Like. And it doesn't have like another effect. Anyway, in case this card's you can discard one more shot shot and target one monster with down attack and add it to your hand. Okay. I guess you can get another one of you back, which I guess is cute and all, but so that, the Vassal that took in that time was pretty good. It wasn't terrible. I think if I was still playing Monarchs, I'd definitely go with 3 Idea and 3 Eidos before I even touch Vassal. You know, not including the Power Ranger engine. I, just, I, don't, I didn't really think the Power Ranger engine was really doing much in this deck, per se. Wow. wow he tributed my shit to some of Vandy's feeling like, I mean, Majesty's feeling like, oh shit. Who would have thought that I would have gave him something to you? <laughs> That's funny. That's actually kind of funny. Like, oh damn. Like, shit. <laughs> Majesty Fiend plus some back row? Like, uh, no thank you, sir. Like, I got nothing right now. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can special summon Mithra. No, because that's activating an effect. So I would have to attack into him. And that's not to say that I won't be attacking into some fucking back row. Like, I got fucking nothing right now. Like, this is not good. Cause I don't know why he would have done that unless he had protection like a mirror force or something like that. I don't have my march, so that's risky. I think I might want to take it slow. Like, there's really not too much of a threat. That card's not really a threat to me right now, so it's not like I have to run it over this instant. So I'm gonna take it slow and see what happens. I'm gonna play it slow. Cause you can't activate monster effects either. So <laughs> as long as you can't get over me, I guess I'm okay. Is it just tribute some monsters or my tribute some monsters? Gain and attack. If you turn monster, you control attacks as opponent's monster against own attack is it. Oh, it's Cleese. It's monster effects can't be activated, not they're negated, so. Oh, it's Cleese. Didn't see that coming. So, can he attack over me with him? I mean, it's on the full spell. Doesn't that mean we both can use it? And he can just go ahead and attack over me and gain an 800 attack? And go up to 32 and run mass over? If that's true, then fuck me. So now at least I know it's Cleese. I was kind of worried about what we were facing. Still not the greatest of things, especially since I can't activate any fucking monster effects. Like, it's not what I needed at all. <laughs> oh, shit. Priming doing shit, I don't got any other monarch spell or traps to even banish. Like, I guess I can go ahead and terraform and get another one of these. Summon. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna deal with this situation. I, I'm assuming he's baiting me. He's like beating shit out of me. But. I don't know what to do. I, I guess I can just attack and then and then see what happens. And then main phase two, summon the the Earthbound Immortal. Yeah, that wouldn't be terrible. I, I don't know. Fuck it. At this point, just run into the Mirror Force. This duel's not gonna go anywhere if I don't do anything because it doesn't seem my opponent's gonna do anything. So fuck it. Hit me with a four. Hit me with Mirror Force. I don't care. I don't care because I got at least I got to play after this. I can go terraform and get in the field domain. Get rid of domain. Summon Prime, summon Vassal, give you this token, and summon my Mirthbound Miller. No, I'm just gonna kill you. Wow, that's really surprising. That's really surprising. I thought you were hella baiting me. Like, hella fucking baiting me. Hmm. Ah, I'm okay. I said now since I know that there's actually no threatening back row back there. I might overextend and summon my Earthbound Immortal next turn and try to come after you directly. Like, clearly you want me to ki kill or do something to your Cleave Fort Disc, which I guess soon you're probably gonna tribute summon this turn. I can't touch that. You got, uh, fucking one sacrifice. Like, the Revenge of the Cleave. Like, this man's like, Cleaves aren't dead. I'm gonna show you, so tribute summon that, go ahead and search for Scout, and then this might be in Cleaves, uh, time for the, the duel to get started. Because, I mean, it's still Scout, right? <laughs> I said, I'm wondering what these two set cards are. I have no fucking idea. If I had a Twin Twister, I'd probably save it for a Scout. I know it's Cleese. <laughs> Get rid of one Scout. <laughs> so 
But uh, yeah, so just a ton of work. All right, so saw that coming. Drew for disc. Yeah, so summon two more monsters who will be destroyed during the end phase. Like I said, if I can still lock you out of the extra deck with the main, then I might be good. Like I'm wondering, kind of wondering if you're gonna like crash and then main phase two spend for some from the extra deck. That's it. I'm pending something for the extra deck. It seems like a pretty good plan. That's it. I'm not sure if you get this effect. I would assume you do. I said, come down to these sets and of course search for scout. Duh. Duh. <laughs> I just yeah, nothing up that well. Ah, there's scout. <laughs> now it's time to get this duel started. This duel wasn't really started until you get that scout, right? Pay that 800, set up your pendant scale, one card pendant scale, just like monkey board. Very powerful, I know. Very powerful. But you probably could have hit wavering eyes too, but... I, said, I, I guess I understand where you're coming from. You want to pull, push out that duel with the line stereo, along with tower turbo and all that shit. So you're like, fuck it, scout to one. I believe OCG has two scouts. I, I saw I saw them pop in a little bit. Wait, how? You have no cards in your extra deck. I don't have a special. Don't I have a tribute to my monster? I have no cards in it, and there's only. And you are the. Oh, you are the only player that controls a tribute summon special summon monster. Ah! Ah! I was like, I was like what the fuck? How'd you summon for the extra deck? He controls the tribute summon monster, therefore he's allowed to summon for the extra deck. That's crazy! That's crazy! <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> I was like sitting here just scratching my head like what? I, I control the super monster. I don't have any cards in my deck. How are you? How do you summon from the extra deck? How you going that 101? Like you should be able to do that. Ah, ah but I had to be the only one. I, I bet, I bet that's, a, that's a serious move all that no one ever expected. Like holy shit. Like I, I, can't, I can't even be mad though. I can't even be mad. So yes, you can go ahead and pendulum summon all of that from the extra deck. Like oh wow. That's, I don't think that's in game, but it's probably, no that's not game. You only have one in there. Like just a while. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny that that it, that it happened like that. And do you get the boost or do we just die? Because technically, okay, I would say, do you get my boost? But I guess not. The tribute summon monster you control, so I guess it's me being the owner of the field spell I control. But wow, that was. It'd be great if I drew like Twin Twister right now. I'd be I'd be super ecstatic if I drew Twin Twister. Kind of need it. Like, I, I'm not worried about anything else. Just draw, give me the Tim Twister so I can crack his pendant skills, because I can't beat a pendant based deck that can tribute and summon from the extra deck. Like, <laughs> at least he doesn't control a uh, tribute summon monster anymore, so at least he can't special summon from the extra deck anymore. And not to say that he won't be able to set that up in the future, especially with Scout surging him every turn. Like, but, uh, all he has to do is, like, search and then tribute these two for a pendant, for uh, a tribute summon monster and then pendant summon all these guys back, so. It's not looking good, so now you have to worry about Scout and. And the fucking pendulum scales and the bat throw too. Like it's not looking too hot for me, people. I think I might lose. Like, right? please, please, uh, it's confirmed. You guys are looking. Please beat me now. I think. I think it depends. It really depends. Cause if you got too much in the extra deck and you can lock them out of the pendulum summoning out of the extra deck, then that that can't hurt when you're running Cleese versus Monarchs. But it's not a terrible matchup. I can tell you that it is not a bad matchup. <laughs> kind of wondering if like one of his set cards is like Vanity or something like that. Like, are you done? Like, dude, like, you, you, you went in, you did your turn, like, let me go ahead and just take my turn. Like, you saw his bar is almost filled, and all he does is click the main phase 2, and it just, just, it just dropped. Usually, for me, it would just be keep on filling up until I get a game loss, but hey, whatever. Let me draw one card off of my loss. Like, wow, it's just... Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, look at Prime, he ain't doing shit, especially in this deck. Like, maybe I'd do more if I was running an actual Monarch deck, like, I, I, I didn't need... Another fucking Earthbound Immortal. Like, not at all, but... Like I said, we'll try. We'll go ahead and try. So, this is like, I can go ahead and get a monster. There's something in there? Like, why are you able to go off? This card's near Gary. You can discard one Monarch Speller Traps and target one. I guess you could target yourself and get yourself. That's pretty power. Because I, I just don't see anything else. Like, fuck it, you know what? Let's see. Can you target yourself? Because it seems like you're, like, saying, like, hey. Like, yeah, wow, you could target yourself. That's fucking... That's ridiculous. <laughs> that really is. That's ridiculous. You shouldn't be able to get yourself. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, hey. <laughs> don't give me my Rebus back. You killed it, I'm gonna get it back. <laughs> ah. Ah. So, I guess we'll go ahead and find out if that is a set Vanity's Emptiness or not. 
Because they should be. Then he's not gonna flip it up, and then that's game. Ah! How'd I call that shit? How'd I call that shit? I was like, set Vandy's emptiness, right? Like, ah, that's game. That's game. I can't do shit. <laughs> I don't have shit, can't do shit. Like, uh, I can play terraforming, get me chicken game, play chicken game. Like, uh, I'll try. Like, I'll try, but I was like, I was like, let me guess. Set Vandy's emptiness? How'd I know? How'd I know? Let's go. Nah, that, no, nope, that's just shit. <laughs> nah, that's game. That is game, sir. Ah, Vandy is too strong, people. Still too strong. And was Cleese too. I was like, I was like, one of the kings of Vandy's. I was like, Vandy. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I got my ass beat. Like, wow, Cleese with the Vandy's and the tribute something Like, wow, learn something new every day. So if you control it, if, if they control tribute some monster, they can switch something to the next deck. That's crazy. That was crazy. Blue, but I have shit. Anybody else know about that? Anybody else know about that? No, not really. No, you didn't know that. <laughs> alright, alright. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Of course, uh, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and suggest them, but... It's not terrible, it's just... Hmm. No. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. Chicken Game helped at least, you know, it's a failed spell. I didn't really get to do much with it, but like I said. The thing about playing Mountain to the Bound, all I had to do is just make a cast spell and spin it. At least you don't I'm locking you out of the extra pack, so you can't even think about going to cast spell. Well, Mountain to the Bound, plus the Earth Bomb, I might cast spell, spin that back, that's dead. Good job, and let's have March. Like, awesome. So, mm. uh, So, any suggestions for the deck? Uh, very appreciated. Comment section below. I'm gonna get to, to, back to work on all that English homework, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow with them resonators, tag duel, and uh, let's just wait for that ban list. Alright, people, thanks for watching.